So guys, what were some previously conceived notions you had about rowing prior to working on the film? That it was hard. Well, you should yeah, talk to me, so I just got to stand off in a two well, piece suit. It <laughs> looks so damn good, too. Uh, you know, uh, growing up in London, the only rowing that we would really see was like um, the Oxford, Cambridge, o Oxford and Cambridge race. Uh, and that was the only inkling that I had uh, into that world. Um, but then jumping in with these guys, George and Grant, they set us up to succeed. You know, they gave us, um, we were a professional sports outfit for five months. We had nutritionists, personal trainers. We had Terry O'Neill train us. He won gold at Atlanta for rowing. Um, and, you know, we became this team and we bonded. And it's one of the most profound experiences I've ever had, actually. But I also, you know, was aware, very much aware that, that rowing was somewhat of one, fit into one, that category of, of an elite sport that, that was sort of accessible by only a certain amount of people that went to certain schools. And I'd never heard this story. And, and what's cool about this story is that these guys were from a school that happened to have a rowing team, but they were nowhere near the sort of more blue-blooded schools that had a really big budget behind them and a real infrastructure, and so that becomes a real underdog version of, of a rowing well, The team. fact that most of them joined the team for somewhere to live yeah, and food to eat, you know. They, Joe lived in a car, you know, he was homeless in Hooverville, so it's truly extraordinary. Yeah, we see all these movies in Hollywood about you know American football, basketball. Mm -hmm. How do you think a film about rowing compares to those kind of mainstream sports? Well, I think that um, sports movies are surprisingly not really about the sport that you're going to watch. You know, I, I, you know, I learned that with Warrior, which was about mixed martial arts, and a lot of people were like, oh, I'm not really into mixed martial arts. But the, the true essence of why that movie reaches a lot of people or speaks to a lot of people is because it's about family. Mm. This film has its own themes. It just happens to be that the backdrop of it or the sport that, that, that uh, helps us explore those themes is rowing. And George has done a remarkable job at making that exciting for the screen, which was one of the things. I'm like, how do you make... Rowing, I think, would be exciting to do, you know, but to watch could be a tricky thing, but he's done a great job of that. Mm. For sure. Yeah. If you guys could sit down with both your characters, you know, have a drink, what do you think you'd talk about? <laughs> rowing. <laughs> <laughs> talk about rowing, how hard it was. <laughs> yeah. I'm curious about, um, you know, I've directed theatre before, and I feel like coaching is like directing theatre in that you put all the work in ahead of time. And once the play starts or once in sport the whistle blows or um, you know they fire the gun or whatever whatever starts a game all of that preparation you just have to sit passively and just hope you know all you can do is sub people on and off but not in rowing you know there's a helplessness to being a coach um, but there are tactics in rowing and that you would set him up with an idea of how he was gonna yeah but once it starts you just hope that all that hard work yeah, right, is done right, by right. the team but other than that, I'd probably just talk about three-piece suits and uh, Stetsons. Uh, Joe, I would love to go up to the uh, countryside outside Scrim and just, you know, shoot the shit with him in the, in the woods and maybe go cut down a tree or something. <laughs> Double skull. Yeah. yeah. And then final question, how much hair gel was used in this film? A lot. <laughs> I think England ran out of hair gel whilst we were filming. <laughs> it was on back order. Yeah. yeah, exactly. We had to get some flown in. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much. Yeah, <laughs> everybody you. should watch this film. I loved it, and I can't wait for everyone to see it, too. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.